I will. Good deal. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the City of Douglas Mayor and Commission. This will serve as our work session for April the 10th, 2023. And as always, we'll have the City Manager, Mr. Charlie Davis, to lead us through it. Good, good evening, Mr. Davis. How you doing? Hey, good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Um, first item be item one, found on page four, review of the March 27th, 2023 meeting minutes. Mr. Durham? Consent. Mr. Bailey? Consent. Mr. Taylor? Consent. And I'm also saying consent. Next item. Next item, item two, found on page 12, discuss the FY20 digitizing service bid. Nikki Thompson? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, tonight we bring before you a digitizing service bid for our community development department. It came from MCCI. They're out of Tallahassee, Florida for $25,000, $25.52. We currently use them with our customer service department as well. Okay. Mr. Taylor? Consent. Mr. Bay? Consent. Mr. Durham? Consent. Next item, Mr. City Manager? Next item is item three, found on page 15, discussed the FY23. 525F pad mount transformer bid, Nikki. We also have five new 25F transformers, excuse me, 2500F transformers to go in our warehouse stock. And those are coming from JCL Energy uh, for $432,500. Okay. Mr. Durr? Consent. Mr. Bay? Consent. Mr. Taylor? Consent. I'm also consent. Thank you. Next item. <clears throat> All right, next is item four, found on page 18, discuss the road, road closure for the First Baptist Church annual picnic, Georgia Henderson. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> First Baptist Church um, on April the 16th is Saturday requested to close a portion of Coweta from <clears throat> East Ward Street to uh, East Cellar Street for the annual uh, picnic. There will be no vendors selling anything. This event is totally free to the public. They're requesting that that street be closed from 9 to 3. Staff have reviewed the special events uh, application, and we don't see any reason why the street cannot be closed. Good deal. I think we did this last year. They did. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Taylor? Consent. Mr. Bailey? Consent. Mr. Dern? Consent. I'm also consent. Next item. <clears throat> All right. Next is item 5, found on page 36, discuss and conduct the first reading of the amending Unified Land Development Code Zoning. Uh, and zone as it relates to mobile vending. Um, one off an apology to you all. This has been before you all, and we forgot to bring the second reading back to the last meeting, which means we have to start all over again advertising in the newspaper. But with all that we brought to you all for the mobile vending, this is the piece of it that uh, determines the zoning, where the mobile vendors uh, can set up. Um, so tonight we will have to have the first reading of this ordinance again and bring this second reading back to you at the next meeting. Okay, Mr. Durham, carry it forward. Carry it forward. Take it forward. Carry it forward. So we're going to carry that forward. Next item. All right, next item is item six, found on page 44, discuss the airport land lease uh, with Andrew Purvis doing business as Purvis Flying Services, Georgia. Uh, Mr. Purvis, our uh, lease. Um, um, expired on March the 31st. So we're coming back before you all to um, give permission for us to extend a five-year lease to, to them. Um, in the updated agreement, um, it goes up 5%. So his um, lease on that small space that um, he currently leases will be $105 a month for the next five years. Okay, Mr. Durham? Consent. Mr. Bay? Consent. Mr. Taylor? Consent. Myself also consent. Next item. All right, next is item seven, found on page 50, discuss uh, um, the amendment, amending the ordinance regarding the issuance of business license and delinquent property and personal tax debt, Georgia. All right, wanna have a discussion with you all, um, staff recommendation, <coughs> recommendation to y'all regarding how we issue the business license. Um, we're trying to work more closely with the Coffee County Tax uh, Commission Office Currently, right now, two things. Um, we realize that um, when people come in for um, business license, if they're delinquent on their property taxes, the deadline that they're delinquent with the county is December the 1st. Uh, with us, according to our ordinance, it's June. Um, like for 2022 20, taxes, it's, it's June December of this 31st, year. right? It's de June, December the 1st. I thought it was December 31st. But what we're proposing 
as staff is that we change our ordinance where they're uh, delinquent in June to uh, December the 31st, where it coincides more closely with when they're delinquent with the county. That's the first part of it. The next part is um, so many times when the people come in, they're debating with us because they feel like they have a payment plan with the uh, tax commissioner's office that they're current on their taxes. Well, with the city, we don't honor that payment plan program. So we want to know if y'all are okay with us changing ordinance for the date and if you're okay with us accepting if they're on a payment plan with the county that we honor that payment plan. Now, I did meet with uh, Mr. Vickers and uh, Ms. Shonda Henderson um, a week or so ago and held a discussion with them because I wanted clarity on this. The county changed their policy maybe four or five years ago to where whenever they do a payment plan, um, the applicants are on that plan for one year. If they miss one payment, that payment plan is void. So they will either go on the tax sale or then they're delinquent and we will not issue them a business license also. So we wanted to make sure because we didn't want this to be a long-term thing in the county. They did confirm that, that their payment plans are one year. So we just need to know if y'all have any questions about it, if y'all are open to us um, kind of following more closely with the county. My, my question is, uh, when I talk with you about it, is like, Right now, if somebody's on a payment plan with the county from 2016 through 2023, you know, that's seven years that they're delinquent, and then they can just go over there and get a payment plan for that? No, according to Ms. Henderson and Mr. Vickers, that payment plan is for one year. The county year. changed that. Okay. Um, about four or five years ago. They didn't have an exact date. They just said it was about four or five years ago. I said, perfect, because we as the city, what staff wanted to propose to y'all, we didn't want long term <coughs> payments plans either. Right, but it's one tax year that can be on the payment plan. Exactly. Right. But, of course, <coughs> there are some that's behind multiple years. Mm -hmm. They're trying to deal with that because she said that the person can come back and request another payment plan for the next year, but it has to be the current, most current year taxes. So um, she just gave for the land bank, uh, this is sidebar information that kind of coincides with it. She just gave us a printout um, because we work with them of all, they're preparing for the next tax sale. And it's about two inches thick of people uh, with delinquent taxes on that report. So they are working trying to get some of that cleaned up. Okay, well my thing is this right here is that I'm okay with us falling in line or running parallel to what the county has. My only concern is, and then I'll open it up, is that I don't want a business to come in and they're four or five months, or four or five years behind, and then they go on a payment plan. Uh, and then I'll, I'll come out with Mr. Bailey, is my thing is, it's 2023. Last year's taxes, you're already late. If those are the only taxes that you owe, I don't have a problem with you putting that one year on a payment plan for a year and you get your license. However, if you get your license according to what the county does, if you miss one, you're now delinquent and you have to pay the full thing. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's what I would be okay with. Mr. Bailey, your thoughts? Uh, one question about the um, December 31st date, uh, the change, change from end of June to end of December, would that be within this year? Yes. Or, or would, would, okay, so right right now, the taxes are due the end of June, so we would relax that until the end of this calendar year? They're delinquent with the county on December 1st. All right. But the Blanche. reason staff, Blanche. we're requesting Blanche. that the city, like yes, for 22, we're requesting December 31st is because our uh, occupational tax certificate is on a calendar year. So that would take us through December the 31st with those. That's why we're requesting that date, which so, still puts it close. So Commissioner Bailey, so instead of us viewing it this year as June as being delinquent, we'd look at it as December 3rd of uh, last year. Of, of last year. Right, yes. Yes. Okay. That's, yeah, we're not moving it forward, we're moving that, it back. That's, that was my question. So, good, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Taylor? Um, 
I prefer just going along with what the county got laid out. We follow that guideline. No. Okay. Mr. Durham? Oh, my question would be, you say that, um, like, each year they could get on a payment plan? Say, like, if, if for instance, this year it has passed, and they feel like, so, so if they're on a payment for 2021. Yes. Then they move to 2022. That is correct. And then they go back and say, I want a payment plan for 2022. So each year they want a payment plan. Can they grant them that payment plan? Yes, but it has to be like if you're saying and the mayor saying for that mm -hmm. most recent tax year that's due. Okay. Like if the, the scenario you used, if mm -hmm. it's 21, they're on that payment plan. Right. They pay that off. If and they say I want to get on another payment. They plan. can get on another. Okay. But it can only be one. But year they have time. to pay it off 20. in that year. Okay. So if they get on a payment plan, 20 say for 20, 20, 2022. For 2023, they pay it off at the, you know, right at the end, I'm just saying. Right. They pay it off. Right before all they get, then they get on another payment plan. If Correct. they need to. Okay, if they need to. So we'll automatically we'll give them that license of that. If, yeah. they, if they're on a payment plan. Okay. And I want to say this too, the way, because <coughs> you have to have a way in-house to verify that they're on the payment plan. Uh, Shanda is working to try to get us a login so staff can log in and see what the county sees because uh, the current site that's uh, available to the public, we don't know who's on the payment plan and we don't know if they're delinquent. So if she can't get us that login, they're going to have to print us a report every week or staff is going to have to manually call them each time to verify that the person is on the payment plan. Okay. And that's pertaining to update me, please. The, the business business license, um, right now what happens is if somebody's on a payment plan with the county, uh -huh. the city doesn't recognize that. Okay. So what we're trying to do is bring uh, the city in line with the county and say it's 2023, uh -huh. 2022 taxes were due. Uh -huh. Well, the county allows you to put that on the payment plan. Okay. Yeah, but the city says no. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is let the uh, the uh, business owners put that one year on a business on, on a payment, payment plan, plan, issue them their license, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they got 12 months to pay that one. And as Commissioner Durham said when you were walking in, mm -hmm. is that they pay that one off, and then 2023 mm -hmm. they can get another payment plan. Okay. You know what I mean? It just makes it a little bit more convenient mm -hmm. uh, for the business owner. Um, and so that we're not issuing license if they are on a payment plan for people who are years behind, we can word that in the ordinance that we bring right. before you all in the agenda item that we only recognize what the <coughs> county told me mm -hmm. the most current year. Correct. That they're on that plan. Anything else, if they delinquent two years back, mm -hmm. then they would not get a business license. Correct. But if they own, excuse me, current tax year payment plan, then we can issue them that license. Okay. So so we just know how to package it up and bring it back to you all. Okay. And and, and do we have a way of protocol right now? I know we're just getting it worked up, but concerning if they are several years behind, are we going to make them aware that they will not be getting one? A we do. We we even uh, go a step. We don't have to, but we print it out for them uh -huh. so they can have it in their hand to study it before they go sit down and talk to the county uh -huh. to try to work something out. It's oh. just that we won't be able to issue them a license if they more than that. Like if it's 20, 22 taxes would just do just uh, December now. the first. Mm -hmm. If they still owe twenty one, we would not be We're able not to issue them a license. Issue them one, and that's the point I'm trying to make. I want to make sure that they are that they are well aware that if they're before 2022, that they will not be able to get one. Like if they're 20, 2020 or 2019, we they will not be able to get another license. We will. We'll bring it to their attention. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, she just brought that before us to have a discussion. Then she's going to come back mm -hmm. with the ordinance, yes. and then we'll go through there. Correct. So y'all are okay with the December 31st, yes. changing it from June to December 31st, mm. and okay with us um, 
acknowledging or, or, or accepting that if they're on a payment plan for the most current year they're, taxes, correct. not to exceed a year. Correct. And if they drop out of payment, then they delinquent that voice that out, and we may have to revoke their license. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Correct. And, and we haven't had anything prior to now. Is that correct? Like if they were behind previously, no. we haven't had anything. Had anything, anything in place to not renew their licenses? Other than not to renew it, no, no, ma'am. Okay. So they didn't have a choice. They didn't have okay. a choice. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Cool. So mm -hmm. we'll just cross that one off. We'll have to take any action mm -hmm. on that one. So that was number seven. Give me a minute, Ms. Sanders. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Gowan and Mr. Uh -huh. uh, number one, we put that on the consent. That was the minutes. Okay. Uh, number two was on the consent of uh, digitizing some paper and this right here, the transform amount, that was a uh, consent. Mm -hmm. uh, road closure for first, that was the annual picnic, they do it every, every year. year. And then we're going to have the uh, first reading for uh, the mobile vending. It's the same thing, however, we, uh, the city missed a date in the newspaper, mm -hmm. and it should have came back and read it the second time. Is right. Correct? Uh huh. Correct. Okay. So it's the same thing. We just we just got to redo it. Um, number six, the airport lease. This young man, he already has a lease. They just redoing for five years, mm -hmm. and that should bring us to number eight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, Mr. City Manager, I believe we're on item eight. <clears throat> right. Next item is item eight, found on page fifty-two. Uh, discuss permission to advertise vacancy on the Keep Douglas Beautiful Board, Georgia. Just what the city manager said. Um, we have a vacancy and we um, want to get y'all's permission to move forward with publicizing that and come back to you hopefully at the next meeting with a recommendation to fill that vacancy. Mr. Taylor, carry it forward. Yes, carry it forward. Mr. Taylor, carry it forward. Mayor Pro Temp. Oh, I'm sorry. Take it forward. Mr. Gallon. Take it forward. Mr. Dern. Take it forward. Good deal. Next item, Mr. City Manager. All right, next item is item nine, found on page 53, discuss the 2023 Municipal Gas Authority of Georgia annual election voting delegates, Mike Hudson. Uh, good evening, Mayor Commission. Um, this is usually the mayor is the primary voting delegate, and I am the alternate. Uh, I will not be able to attend the meeting this year because of a personal conflict, so Mr. Davis is going in my place. So the mayor will remain the primary delegate on the resolution, and Mr. Davis will move into the alternate spot. So that's why this is for the board election, which will be held on May the 5th, that Friday. Okay. Mr. Bailey? Uh, consent. To, uh, we, we definitely need to have, have that slot covered uh, in case you couldn't possibly make Okay. Consent. Mr. Taylor? Consent. May I approach you? Consent. Excuse me, Mr. Gower? Consent. Mr. Durham. Thank you. All right, next is item 10, found on page 59. Uh, discuss the option of Fitzgerald Utility Bond to purchase the electric apartment surplus crane, Mike. Uh, this crane has already been approved by you guys to surplus, and we normally will put this on gov deals, but there is rules that apply that we can't sell equipment to other municipalities or other government agencies as ourselves. Uh, city of Fitzgerald, or actually the utility bond of Fitzgerald. We, we swap supplies with them all the time. That They also supply our propane for our propane air facility. Uh, they came over to bring some wire. They had borrowed back, saw the crane. We're interested in trying to purchase it and move transformers on the yard. Right now they're having to pay $2,500 every time they rent a crane uh -huh. to come to their location. So we bought this crane in 2007, way before my time, off the OAS. I did attach the email that Mr. Dennis Trowell sent to DOS releasing us saying it was okay to sell the crane. Um, they came over, went over it with the shop personnel, showed them all the issues, showed them how it worked. Uh, they were willing to give us $5,000 for the crane. So uh, we paid $9,500 in 2007. I think that's a pretty good recap. And it does have some hydraulic leak issues and stuff they're aware of. So. But even that, they're paying $2,500 every time they unload transformers. Right. So they see a deal. Yeah, they Mr. Do. Bailey? Consent. Mr. Taylor? Consent. Mayor Pro Temp? Consent. Mr. Gow? Consent. Mr. Gow? Consent. Thank you, Mike. Yes. Mate, yes, how are we going to move our transformers? We, we've got another one. We bought another one off the OAS. That's why we surplus those. We actually moved this one between the electric department <coughs> and the wastewater plant a lot. 
One of the main issues with this one that we're selling is the brakes. It's, uh, they've had some issues, gonna cost pretty cheap to fix. So we just, we bought a new one off the OES for us. Yeah. Right. Good deal. Anything else? Mr. City Mayor? Uh, uh, there is no general comments. Uh, and just the only thing under city manager update since y'all got that list in front of you, so y'all pay attention. You know, just a lot of like, items coming up. Last commission meeting, Commissioner Pearson had made mention one of us to make mention about the city hall ribbon cutting, and so on October, I mean October, uh, April 25th, October you'll be a little late. Uh, April 25th we will be having the city hall ribbon cutting at 10 a.m. here in open house on that day during the Georgia Cities Week. And there's a lot of items during that week, so one of the items will be driven cutting for a uh, uh, city hall. But that's all the updates. Good deal. And there's nothing else. Is it okay if we go directly into the meeting? Yeah. yeah. Do that, Mr. Durham? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Gow? Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Gow. <coughs> yes, sir. You're good? Go straight into the meeting? Yes, sir. All right. We uh, we're closed out the work session and and, uh, Mr. Commissioner Bob Moore will go directly into the meeting. So, all hearts and minds clear. I can't hear you. And good evening. good evening. Welcome to the City of Douglas, Mayor and Commission. This will serve as our regular meeting, April 10th, 2023. And the invocation, uh, Commissioner Stern. Uh, the invocation will be coming from our chief, mm -hmm. our um, chief of the third We're board. doing that one now. Casey Wright, which is a pastor of right. uh, Whistling uh, Baptist Church, and also I want to commend him and take a thank you for um, your department and um, yourself also for um, helping assist with the 2023 War II East Extravaganza, such as my husband, such as um, Kevin Davis, um, ESG, um, City of Douglas. <laughs> And um, the fire department, and Steve Young, the parts in recreation, and Kevin Davis. We thank y'all for this. I just want to get it out of the way for you. Mm -hmm. I thank you for that. Always a pleasure to help our community. So let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this day. We thank you, God, for this time of year that we celebrate the risen Savior, the one that you sent to die on our state, God, to pay the price that no matter how good or how big our ego is, Lord, we just can't pay on our own. I thank you, Father for that redemption blood that was shed on Calvary's Hill. Yes, yes. Lord, we ask God that you bless this meeting tonight. God, continue to bless our community. God, not only let it grow in, in size and in number and in wealth, but let us grow spiritually and get closer and closer unto thee. Lord, go with us and guide us as we walk through these days to come. Give us that wisdom, Lord, of Solomon, Lord, that we may be able to make sound decisions on whatever we face. In your precious and holy name we ask these things. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Next on the agenda, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. As always, we have the Coffee High Navy Junior ROTC. And to lead us into the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, we have Petty Officer Hernandez. We have Lieutenant Carrillo and Lieutenant Commander Guerrero. If you would, please stand. Guerrero, I'm sorry. Please stand and face the flag. Present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arm, left, face, forward, march, left, right, right. You may be seated. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the order of the agenda. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the second reading and public hearing to amend the community work program for the city of Douglas in the 2018 joint comprehensive plan. Okay, this will be a uh, resolution to amend the community work program for the City of Douglas in the 2018 Joint Coffee County and the Cities of Ambrose, Broxton, Douglas, and Nichols Comprehensive Plan. Whereas the City of Douglas has amended Coffee County and the City of Ambrose, Broxton, Douglas, Nichols 2018 Comprehensive Plan by adding Section 2 Plan Elements Item 7 of the City of Douglas Community Work Program 2019 <coughs> through 23 Community Facilities and Services by adding the following. 
have it right here. <clears throat> Whereas the document was prepared according to the standards and procedures for local comprehensive planning established by the Georgia Planning Act of 18, 1989 and the Georgia Department of Community Affairs, be it therefore resolved that the city of Douglas will amend the 2018 joint Coffee County and cities of Ambrose, Broxton, Douglas, and Nickel comprehensive plan, and this is ready for action. All right, good deal. At this time, I entertain a motion. Second. second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the consent agenda items. As always, we'll turn it over to our city manager to lead us through for transparency. Mr. City Manager. Uh, Mayor and Council, uh, we have seven items coming over on the <coughs> consent agenda, and as the Mayor said, I'll, I'll read them off. First item is approval of the March 27, 2023 meeting minutes. Next item is the approval of the FY23 digitizing service bid. Next item is approval of the FY23 2500F pad mount transformer bid. <coughs> Next will be approval of the road closer for First Baptist Church annual picnic. The next item is approval of the airport land lease agreement uh, with Andrew Purvis doing business as Purvis Flying Service. The next item uh, will be approval of the 2023 Municipal Gas Authority of Georgia annual election voting delegates. And the last item is approval of the option to fix your utility bond to purchase the electric department surplus crane. Those are your items. Thank you very much, Mr. City Manager. At this time, I entertain a motion for the consent agenda items. So moved. Second. It's been motioned and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is work session items brought forward. And again, Mr. City Manager. Mayor, Council, we have two items coming forward from the work session. The first item from the work session is uh, item five. Um, uh, discuss and conduct a first reading amending the Unified Land Development Code and Zone as it relates to mobile vending. This be an ordinance to amend Douglas Code and ordinance to subpart B, Construction, Land Use, and Land Development, Unified Land Development Code, Article 7, Chapter 3, Supplemental Standards, Section 111-33, Table of Permitted Uses, Section 111-269, Mobile Vendors, by adding Section 11-269, adding Sections 11-269.1, and amending sections 11 to 82, temporary uses including special events and structures to regulate mobile vendors and mobile food vendors to provide for an effective date for other purposes. Be it ordained by the Mayor and Board of Commissioners of the City of Douglas, Georgia, and regular meeting assembled and pursuant to lawful authority thereof. The Unified Land Development Code of the City of Douglas is hereby amended and stands amended as follows by adding section 1173, table of permitted uses by adding mobile vendors and mobile food vendors. Offered and read for the first time at a regular meeting of the Mayor and Board of Commission of the Ducks, Georgia on March 13, 23. Rick. Yep. Offered on March the 10th, 2023, and we'll have the uh, second reading on April 24th, 2023. April 10th, tonight. Second reading? That's the first reading. This is the first reading? Yeah. Yes. Reading. yeah. Okay, well, y'all yes. threw me a pair. Yeah. You threw me a pair, Bob. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So okay. this is the first reading, because we had to start over. So the second one will be the next meeting, right? Right, 24th. All right, good deal. Next item. All right, next item is item eight, found on page 52 of the work session. Um, Georgia Henderson to discuss permission to advertise a vacancy for the Keep Douglas Beautiful Board. We do have one vacancy on the board. Um, we're going to publicize for two weeks and come back to you, hopefully, at the next meeting for appointment to fill that term. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you've already said the staff comments are printed, correct? Yes, sir. Just uh, for the camera purposes, just, you know, during Georgia City's Week, April 23rd through the 29th, we want to make sure everybody comes out on the 25th for the ribbon cutting at 10 a.m. for the uh, uh, City Hall ribbon cutting. And the rest of the items are there today, sir. All right. Good deal. Mayor, I'd like to just say something to what uh, City Manager just said. I'd just like to encourage our citizens to come out for that ribbon cutting for our new City Hall. Our city employees have worked here before it got renovated under conditions where there was rain falling down in some of the uh, rooms. And this is something that we are really, really proud of. I know I am. And I'm proud for our city employees that they have a comfortable environment to, to do their work in. 
to, to boost their morale, to better serve our, our community and our citizens. So citizens, if you will, come out and take a look at what you all have helped to build. I'm very proud of this, because I, I came when it wasn't this. I, I saw how it was, and I'm very proud of it. So come out on April the 25th, please. Thank you. Good deal. At this time, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned.